introducing Fingerlings Baby Monkeys, adorable interactive pets that respond to sound, motion, and touch. We're gonna show you some of the fun ways you can interact with your Fingerlings pet. Let's start by unboxing. First, remove the outer blister, then carefully remove any additional elastics or ties before lifting your monkey from the inner blister. Inside the package, you'll find one Fingerlings Baby Monkey, ready to go with four LR44 batteries already installed, plus a quick start guide. Ready to play? Slide the switch on the back of your monkey's head to turn it on. Your new friend will greet you with cute monkey babble. Your monkey has special sensors that allow it to respond to your touch in different ways. These are located on either side of her tuft of hair. Tap your monkey's head once or twice on either side of her hair, and you'll get a variety of different reactions. Your monkey can also sense when it changes position. Right side up or upside down, your fingerling's baby monkey loves to monkey around. Why not shake things up a bit? Your fingerling's baby monkey will interact with you in different ways, depending on how she's being held. Let's start with right side up. Pet your monkey to show affection, and your little friend will show her appreciation. She'll react differently if you stroke her head once or continuously. But for best results, make sure you're touching both sides of your monkey's hair at the same time. Want a funny surprise? Try cradling your entire fingerling's head with your hand for a couple of seconds. Fingerlings also love to get kisses. Blow a kiss toward her face and your monkey will kiss you back. Although sometimes you might get a sneeze instead. Your fingerlings will also respond to sudden loud sounds in different ways, depending on the position she's in. Try clapping your hands or snapping your fingers and watch your pet monkey react. Your fingerlings baby monkeys also love to hang upside down by their tails. Try blowing in your monkey's face for a new silly reaction. If you cradle your monkey's head for two seconds, you'll hear him burp. Your fingerlings pet also reacts differently to noises when she's upside down. If you swing your monkey side to side or front to back, your monkey will laugh hysterically. <laughs> Next, try laying your fingerlings baby monkey down on its back. Your monkey loves to be rocked and cradled in the palm of your hand, and you'll love the calm monkey sounds your little friend makes when you pet her while she's lying down. You'll also get different sleepy reactions to sounds and kisses. Your fingerlings' arms and legs are designed to grip onto different objects. Try a highlighter or the handle on your mug, the strap of your purse, the side of a monitor, or even the bookcase in your room. The possibilities are endless. Your fingerlings also love to hang by their tails. Try a belt loop or a pocket on your jeans. Hang them from your backpack, from another toy or playset, or your notebook or tablet. You could even hang them from your ears. And remember, what fingerlings love best is grabbing onto your fingers, of course. Clap twice to get your monkey to sing a happy monkey tune. If you have more than one fingerlings baby monkey, you can make them sing together. If your monkey is left alone for more than 60 seconds, she will whistle out of boredom. She'll try to get your attention a few more times. And if you continue to ignore her, she'll make a snoring sound and go to sleep to conserve energy. When you're ready to play again, simply turn your fingerlings baby monkey off, then on again. If you find your fingerlings pet is not responding, she might be asleep. Try turning her off and on again.